the good shepherd has risen who lay down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock alleluia in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all dear brothers and sisters god bless us with another week another day in our life beautiful day let us ask forgiveness to our lord for all the sins acknowledging our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate Lord Jesus you raise us raise the dead to life in the spirit Lord of mercy Lord Jesus you bring pardon and peace to the sinner Christ of mercy Lord Jesus you bring light to those in darkness Lord of mercy May Almighty God forgive us our have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen Let us pray Grant we pray Almighty God that putting off all our old self with all its ways we may leave us Christ deep for through the healing pascal remedies you have conformed us to his nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the acts of the apostles stephen filled with the grace and power was working great wonders and signs among the people certain members of the so called synagogue of freedmen surians and alexandrians and people from cilicia and asia came forward and debated with stephen but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke then they instigated some men to say we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against moses and god they stirred up the people the elders and the scribes accosted him accosted him seized him and brought him before the sanhedrin they presented false witnesses who testified This man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. the word of the lord the response is alleluia though princes meet and talk against to me your servant meditates on your statutes yes your decrees are my delight they are my counselors alleluia i declared my ways and you answered me Teach me your statutes make me understand the way of your precepts i will meditate on your wonders wondrous deeds alleluia remove from me the way of falsehood and favor with the and favor me with your law the way of truth i have chosen i have set your ordinances before me alleluia Hallelujah 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 
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had fled, fed a thousand men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. This is the word of, work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. Faith consists of willing what God will and loving what God loves, even if that leads us to cross, to the cross. It's a quotation, a, word, a sentence from the book of Tadine and Sarah, named God or nothing. Faith consists of willing what God wills, loving what God loves, even if that leads us to the cross. In today's first reading, we See such a man, a man having such a faith, living for God, loving God, and willing what God wills. Stephen, whose, whose feast we celebrate just after the Christmas day, 26th of December, was a first Christian martyr and a deacon. See how he is giving testimony to the faith, how he is witnessing the gospel through his life. Even the whole Sanhedrin, the Jews, the Jewish leaders were against him. Still he proclaiming Jesus with such a seed, such a power, such a spirit. And God worked wonders through this man. And even those who were persecuting him, so his face was like the face of an angel. We all need to have such a faith to proclaim the good of course, we live in a world where the religion or the faith is not the first or major concern. We live in a world of religious or indifference in faith. Our concerns are, faith is not our first and primary concern. Maybe third or fourth concerns, our job, profession, or uh, the social status, etc., are the first concern. In today's gospel, Jesus inviting the crowd to believe in him and work for the food that do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. Jesus also inviting the people to follow Jesus when he fed them, multiplying the loaves of bread and fish. So they were seeking Jesus just in order to satisfy the desires of their body, to satisfy the quench, uh, satisfy their hunger. But Jesus asking them, teaching them to look for eternal life, 
what for eternal life. In today's, uh, sometimes we are also approach Jesus uh, with such a mentality. Getting something from Jesus, maybe a miracle, maybe a wonder, maybe uh, we pray that something good happen in our life. But faith is loving what God loves, willing what God wills, willing what God wills from our life, love what God loving from our life. So today, let's reflect, what's, what is my major concern in my life? Is it my faith? Is it my belief in Jesus? Do I really believe, uh, believe in, the, in Jesus, the one who is sent by God? Do I believe in the church? Do I, do, is my religion my first and primary concern, etc.? Let us reflect and meditate our own life. What's my major concern? What's my heart's desire, etc.? Let us pray for the world and for our personal intentions. For the church throughout the world and for courage and hope from all who lead the church. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are persecuted for their faith and for a spirit of tolerance and cooperation in us all. Let us pray to the Lord. For parents awaiting the birth of a child. And for all who work with little ones, let us pray to the Lord. For the sick and for those who work in the hospitals, especially the uh, people suffering from COVID-19 virus, and for all the doctors and nurses working among them, let us pray to the Lord. Let us also pray for all the intentions that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For brothers and sisters who go before us in death, let us pray to the Lord. Please join for the divine renovation at Sacred, at Sacred Heart. Father of spiritual river, Work with your divine renovation on our sacred and parish family. Make us a welcoming community of love, forgiveness, and acceptance to all we need. Inspire us to use our gifts and talents to become a parish of active apostles on fire for Jesus Christ. May we be empowered by your Holy Spirit to share your love with others through the sacred heart of Jesus, Mary, Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brother, that my sacrifice 
any words may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his children. Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleased our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fold of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and indeed willingly in his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching,
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. And we pray, Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be free. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us invite Jesus to our heart by praying the prayer, prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come only spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray for occasion to the priesthood and to the religious life. God our Father, today may have an opportunity by my actions to encourage a vocation to the religious life. Help me to conduct myself in a Christian manner, that I may give proper example, particularly to the end, for the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. May I also support those in religious life in their vocational service to your church. May the sincerity of my prayers and my concern for vocations result in an increase of laborers for Jesus and his church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving womb. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy 
Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.